Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like there is more news coming out about the movie Wish from Disney, the whole Thanksgiving animated film that was supposed to save the Disney box office. We all knew that wasn't going to happen. Well, apparently there's more information regarding Wish because now this movie is actually getting pretty roasted by the critics. Critics completely hate this movie. And one thing I got to say is I find this to be very interesting. The fact that the critics and audience score has basically switched places recently. If you guys look at any movie that has come out recently, Recently over the last year or so, it seems like the audience score and the critic score have completely swapped places. It's almost as if the studios have realized that the audience score was what people were using to go against these movies and to basically hate watch these movies or hate them in general. They would use the audience score as evidence as to why, you know, people don't like these movies. And it seems like the mega shills like Rotten Tomatoes, for example, has essentially found a way to try to switch that narrative. Now, they're not doing it with the critics because the critics scores for a lot of these films are pretty terrible if you guys look at the critic score right now on rotten tomatoes wish has a 51 percent ladies and gentlemen 51 percent which is abysmal and the audience score even though it's at 81 percent it has been dropping now keep in mind this is only 250 verified reviews obviously people they are 100 percent filtering the reviews and they're trying to tell their own story so let's get into the article guys from cartoon brew but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the youtube algorithm so it says wish reviews roundup disney's latest falls flat with critics disney's wish hit theaters this thanksgiving holiday weekend but critics have found little to be thankful for in the studio's latest musical feature the film which was directed by chris buck and fawn i'm not even going to try to say that last name is is billed as a celebration of Disney's 100th anniversary and is loosely inspired by the classic Disney song, When You Wish Upon a Star. It tells the story of Asha, a young idealist who joins forces with an anthropomorphized star and talking baby goat to try to take down a tyrannical sorcerer king. It's got all the ingredients that an audience would expect from a big Disney animated release. Now, the funny thing is for me, and I've said this in my last video, if you guys missed it, go check it out. The most ironic thing for me is that Disney's wish is an original IP right and it's a diverse original IP it's literally what everybody asked for on Twitter and yet nobody is supporting this movie right it goes to show that the woke do not support what they say they support right they do it on Twitter because it gets the instant gratification of likes and retweets but the moment you ask them to take it out of their own pocket and spend their own money now you're asking too much now no no we can't do that no we can't we're gonna wait for it to get on streaming you know what I mean like this movie is bombing from the same people who always say that they want original diversity Diverse characters, which goes to show this is why Disney race swaps characters. They race swap characters because one, it's easier, two, it costs less money, and three, they're probably going to be more successful than these original diverse characters. This is why they do it because the white characters, in their opinion anyway, have the more clout, right? They have much more clout that they can steal compared to these original diverse characters that nobody knows. It says, for the most part, early wish reviews are all over the place. Some critics love the Easter eggs and regular nods to Disney. Disney classic films, while others felt that they were shoehorned in and became unnecessary distractions. Some reviewers were complimentary about the film's original music, yet others say Wish is missing a signature song like Encanto's We Don't Talk About Bruno or Frozen's Let It Go. There are two things that most of the available reviews agree on. The animation is incredible and the story is not. Now, one thing I will say with Disney animation, it usually is very, very good. There is no taking that away from them. But the story being bad should not really be shocking to a lot of people. Disney does not focus on story disney focus on identity politics they focus on what they can utilize the story for versus what the actual story is they want to take that story and go on this media tirade about diversity equity and inclusion instead of actually just shutting up telling everybody how magical of a story it is and to go watch it in theaters if they want to be impressed by the story no they don't do that they want to utilize the story to push their agenda that's all they truthfully care about it says as is typically the case the artists at walt disney animation studios have impressed nearly everybody with the quality of their work while the studio isn't the first to explore a more stylized approach to cg animation in this case inspired by 2d and watercolor the consensus is that they've done it well as anyone with wish regarding the film's narrative most critics agree that wish feels more like a 90 minute long disney propaganda product than an original piece of story
storytelling. Rotten Tomatoes keeps running a tally of critic scores for every Disney animated theatrical release. At the time of publishing, Wish has a critic score of 48%, which ranks 65 among the 73 films on that list. It sits between Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and Return to Neverland. And this isn't the case of review bombing. So far, of the 33 top critics whose reviews have been tallied by Rotten Tomatoes, 23 gave it a rotten uh, rating. Now, here's some reviews about what the critics are saying about Wish. I'm very curious to see what they're saying because, again, it's interesting. I don't know if this is because basically they've been exposed for taking money for reviews, right? So maybe they stopped taking money. And if they stop taking money, now they're going to actually be honest. That could be number one. Or maybe number two, they just hate this film. They could just they could just honestly hate this film. But I will say that the audience reviews being only at 250. Are you kidding me? 250 reviews? That's all you have up there versus 138 critic reviews? There's almost as much critic reviews as there is audience reviews. That's insane. That is never the case audience is always like four or five times more than the critics by far but they're keeping the number as low as possible because they know they're going to get completely destroyed if they tell the truth if you end up clicking all critics on rotten tomatoes you're going to see a whole bunch of rotten you're going to see a little bit of uh, certified fresh here and there but there is way more rotten than i thought there was going to be on this film like this person says colin uh wish takes its inspiration from the idea of wishing on a star which became a central th uh, theme in disney's marketing and to be honest wish felt less like a movie and more like a marketing campaign to celebrate Disney's 100 years of animation. Wish reminds its audience that what makes classic Disney so special and that it can't be replicated. I agree with that 100%. I agree with that statement right there is literally exactly how I feel about Disney animated films. You cannot recreate the magic because the people who were in charge of creating that magic are no longer at Disney. And the ideology and what is taking precedence at Disney and what's important at Disney is not going to allow for true, utter creativity to thrive. It's just impossible. It is impossible. There's no way that you can have creativity thrive and then say, well, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do that. That's just impossible. You can't do that. So the fact that they have so many limitations on what can be allowed in a story and so many limitations on how the character is supposed to look because they got to check off as many boxes as they possibly can with one animated film, it leads you to believe that you're just incapable of doing a story that's going to be magical like the original Disney project. It's impossible. It says Wish is actually more interested in spending 95 minutes reminding viewers of Disney's greatest hits. Where all wear is tried and true superstar Mickey when the home team needs him more than ever. So determined to be a Disney movie that it forgets to be a good movie. <laughs> Huh, that that's also a good point. All right, if you're so focused on doing reminders about your previous films, you're probably not going to have a great current film, right? Like like Wish should have stood on its own. Wish should have been its own thing. There should not have been so many tie-ins to other Disney films in this film. I don't know if you're trying to create some sort of multiverse for Disney movies, but really it kind of kills it. Adam says Wish might be the most generic movie I've ever seen. All in all, this movie could have been a lot more than what it was worth, but it was almost as if they didn't even try and only exist as a placeholder for Disney to say that we did this on our anniversary. That could be very well true also. They could definitely just have made this film just so they had something come out on the 100 year anniversary and of course on the 100 year anniversary they're going to make sure that it's a diverse film that comes out for modern day disney so again ladies and gentlemen wish is getting what it deserves okay wish is just another example that disney doesn't have it in them anymore disney cannot do it anymore they are literally incapable of doing it anymore and honestly they should just learn to pretty much do what uh universal's doing right so do what super mario brothers did give the fans what they want and you just might get rewarded with their money but we all know at the end of the day disney is not trying to get your money so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out